what it's been here. It's been like high nineties and and then the humidity has just been crazy. Yeah. That's what we've had too. But that's Delaware. <laughs> Hey, we're live. Yay, we're live and we're outside. Yay, we have a viewer. That might be me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me see. Oh, hey, now we can see us all. Okay, I'm going to go in here. That way. Hi, Katie. Katie, my friend, is watching us live awesome. on Aloha. Facebook. Okay. Wow, this is working. This my, is fun. My internet at home kind of stinks. So. <laughs> oh, you're more than welcome. Okay. Harris, please don't play with the mic. Stop working my project now. So, look at us having a fireside chat with a real fire. With a real fire. So. <laughs> Instead of a YouTube video. <laughs> I know. I know. Welcome to our oily fireside chat. Um, I feel like I'm lounging here. Like I'm going to take a nap. Get cozy. I know. Um, we, if, if you cannot hear me say something in the comments, we have a little microphone here, but we're not quite sure how well this will work being outside. So we're living and learning. Um, I have been talking yeah. with everybody on my Facebook page about how we are doing immunity support um, series. And tonight, what is it, part three? Yep, part three. Part three. Oh. So um, we are talking about oils tonight. Last time we talked about supplements and the week before we talked about our digestive system. And we learned from Janelle that like 70% of our immune system is in our digestive tract. Okay. And mm -hmm. uh, that was something I didn't know. So that was really interesting. Um, and we have been having a hard time deciding what we'll talk about each week. So we decided we would just talk about oils tonight. And we're focusing on oils that support our immune system. Um, there were so many oils <laughs> as we were chatting about, oh, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about this. So we had to break it up into two weeks. <laughs> yes. Yes. So. As we're talking, um, if you have questions, um, some of you I can see are watching us live on Facebook and I'm really glad I wore my glasses so I can see those comments. <laughs> um, if you have questions about anything we're talking about, post them in Facebook. And then um, remember also that we give away prizes because we like mm -hmm. to do prize patrol. So anyone who comments, shares, or likes our video, it's dribbling. I know, I just felt <laughs> weird. Um, you are entered to win a prize for um, <laughs> next week. Maybe we're gonna have to take this We may inside. have to move inside. <laughs> if we do, we'll talk while we're moving, guys. Um, Chaos abounds. I know. <laughs> and tell us where you're from. We like to know where everyone's from in the comments. Um, and your shares really help support our small business. So we so appreciate your sharing our videos and just thank you for that. Um, plus we are really super passionate about getting the word out about oils and natural, um, health alternatives. So <laughs> Luke's getting us something, I think to try and probably an umbrella or something. <laughs> um, so, um, we just want the word out there. And mm -hmm. so we appreciate that. I suppose we should kick it off with the prize from last week. Yeah, definitely. We had one person who showed up live and braved my horrible technology <laughs> issues. Um, she's live again tonight. So she's watching us on Zoom right now. So you get to pick. Are you going to say who it is? I don't know how to say her last name. Emily Legate. Emily Legate is our winner. So you get to pick. I have, wow, it's like really pouring It's really pouring here. We just thought it was going to drizzle. Oh, no. <laughs> like, oh, yes. Oh, umbrella time. <laughs> so you get to pick. I have an insect repellent wipe. I have a little sachet of lavender oil. I have an alkaline sample. I have an art light moisturizer sample. I have 
a sensation hand and body lotion sample. I have a labyrinth cooling mist sample, or I have a thieves whitening toothpaste sample. So you can let me know and pick one of those. It's really raining. It's like really raining. Do you think we should take it inside before we kick it off? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay. Hang on, everyone. You guys are gonna get a little motion sick while we bring <laughs> the computer inside, but bear with us. Shoes. It's like it's quite pouring. <laughs> Well, Luke tried. Okay, so I it guess while we're forecast till ten, I know while we're this? while we're heading inside to drier ground, this is what happens when you go live, friends. Um, I would love to know from the people that are watching us, and I see we have at seven, eight, nine people watching. What is one um, oil that you would like to learn about for immunity support, or what is the biggest? Um, thing you're looking to learn tonight. So post that in the comments and we'll wait while while we move and do you want to share your oil for the night? Oh good call. I didn't think of that. Be our distraction and cover, cover, cover. <laughs> and to the rescue. I, I find it kind of kind of comical that we were just talking about the rain coming my way and you guys actually got the rain. <laughs> but, you know, we, we need rain. The grass needs rain. Um, so as mentioned before, uh, we are continuing our, our uh, series on immunity. And um, I chose lavender essential oil. Um, it is the mother of all essential oils. And that means that its uses are pretty, pretty broad. Um, but so tonight, I'm basically gonna be talking about how it helps to support our immune systems. Um, lavender, again, is beneficial for most situations. Um, it's an incredibly versatile oil useful for just about anything. Um, specifically for immunity, lavender is beneficial since it can, um, can not only help induce a good night's sleep when you diffuse it, you put it on your wrists. That's what I do. I, I put some lavender on my wrists at night um, and it encourages the body to get that restorative sleep that it needs. But it also is commonly used for reducing stress as well. Um, so diffusing lavender, um, putting it on, um, you can even put it in a little spray bottle and like spray your pillowcases with it. Just any way that you can get the lavender um, into your system. Um, it's going to help to reduce that stress. Um, and as mentioned, uh, stress and sleep are both contributing factors for a lowered immunity, which we don't want. Okay, we're always, always, always looking to Im improve our immune system. Um, and essential oils is just one of those, one of those things that um, we can do. Um, but another way that lavender helps with, to boost that immunity um, is with its antioxidant properties, um, protecting the cells from free radicals, which is huge. So really, you know, even though you're sleeping, the body is just absorbing all the goodness of this oil. Um, now notice, it's a, I have a 15 ml size bottle of lavender because I just have to have a big bottle of lavender. Um, it, uh, it's just, it's such an awesome, awesome oil and I just love it. So that is, that is it. Um, and just, you know, splash it on, diffuse it, and let it do its thing for your body. I love lavender. I do too. It's like my favorite. <laughs> oh, lavender is the best. It's actually on my ER order. One of them that I keep on, I'll call it autopilot. Lavender and cedar was the other one, but lavender I always have on autopilot. I love the versatility of lavender because mm -hmm. it's not just for sleep. I mean, like Ann was talking about in skin and everything. And you can use it for any age group. Like we used it on the girls from day one, literally. And like Luke and I use it and I gave some to my grandma. So um, this weekend actually, so some of you caught my post that 
John and I had kind of an exciting adventure. We bought some land up north and um, it's a lot of work. The forest is really, really thick. Um, and we spent the day cutting trees, trying to get a driveway um, area cleared. And when we were done, we took a little dip in the lake. And of course, afterwards I showered and I just felt like I need a little pampering and horse flies, deer flies, mosquitoes, they're just really bad this time of year. Um, and I remember Anne talking about how purification and lavender both are really, really good for soothing insect bites. So I thought, well, what do I have to lose? I got my travel bag of lavender. Um, and so I just put, I think it was two drops in the palm of my hand, rubbed it together, rubbed it all over my legs and my arms. The mosquito bites did not itch like at all. I followed it up with one drop of purification. And I noticed when I went outside, I didn't have to, after my shower, put on thicker, heavier um, insect repellent. Uh -huh. um, and to be honest, they're so bad up there. We were using like the store-bought stuff just on our clothes, which mm -hmm. made me cringe, like just cringe. And I was like, I don't want to shower and put it back on. Uh, but the lavender straight and the purification straight worked wonders. So um, I actually made a roller ball um, for some prizes. That's a little bit of a hint for when I go live tomorrow um, <laughs> about prizes for sharing. Um, and I'm going to try that because it was awesome. But anyway, we're talking about immunity. And we were. <laughs> I'll share it anyway. Um, so last night we were out picking our raspberries and I was like, we're going to be out for five minutes. I don't want to have to put on the Young Living um, insect repellent. It's like it's five minutes. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, the mosquitoes don't care how long you're out there. They bite you. And so same thing. Anne's talking about lavender a couple of weeks ago for insect bites. I was like, oh man, but it works. Like the lavender is great for when you're too lazy to take care of yourself, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and I see that Sue asked about oils for healing um, skin conditions. So um, I think lavender would be a good one to help mm -hmm. soothe. It's an amazing skin oil. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to talk a little bit about frankincense tonight. And that's another good one. Mm -hmm. um, Gail is asking about gut health. Gail, you're definitely going to want to go back and watch Immunity Support Part 1. Mm -hmm. Yeah, part one. Because we talked, the whole oily fireside chat was about gut health, um, the whole thing. And um, our friend Janelle is a nurse. She gave mm -hmm. us a lot of really great info. Um, so that would be a good one. The other thing I want to mention is, in you talked about how lavender is um, anti-inflammatory and a lot of skin conditions are caused by inflammation. Mm -hmm. So lavender would definitely be a good one for that as well. What were you, what one were you going to do? Should I go into frankincense since we're talking skin? Go for it. Okay. That's a good lead in. So here's the deal. My book on frankincense is like, the info is like oh. as thick as Tessa's entire yeah. book here. So frankincense is like the powerhouse of Aren't oils. are 10,000 documented uses for it? Yes. And it goes back a long, 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 long time because it's mentioned in the Bible. Oh, I forget how many times. I forget. It's it's in my script for our class and I forget. It's over 30. Yeah. It's like, um, it's been used for a long time. So um, there's a ton of information. In fact, all of the things that it can, I don't know if you can see this, that it can support. That's how long the list is on my handy dandy app. <laughs> so I'm just going to talk about a few things. First thing I will say is when I was looking up frankincense, since Sue asked about um, skin conditions, um, soothing to the skin, lavender would be, she's asking about burns. I would think that lavender would be soothing in that scenario. I think frankincense. That's what I've used. Frankincense is also anti, very anti-inflammatory and very, very, very powerful. It's one of the highest frequency oils. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually would love if we would do an entire class one night about the body frequency and frequency on oils and how they can impact each other. I think that would be 
such an interesting topic. Well, maybe when we're done with immunity, Rose. I know. Um, <clears throat> so frankincense has super high frequency and I was just a little snippet. I was reading about how certain conditions occur when your body's frequency drops below a certain level. And so when you're using high frequency oils, that's helping to bring your body's, keep your body's frequency high and helping to kind of support your immune system mm -hmm. to prevent certain conditions from happening. Um, so um, frankincense, they call it the granddaddy of all oils. When I was looking it up, I found a ton of recipes for skin serums, um, face serums. So um, we did have a question about skin. So that's why I'm mentioning that. Um, okay, frankincense. It is a resin. So um, it was thought it was in the Bible, they would get the resin from the tree and burn the resin. Um, it is one of the only, I don't know if I would say only, but it's one of the oils that can penetrate the blood brain barrier because it's so high in, what is it, sesquiterpenes, I think sure. it's called. Yeah, that's how we'll pronounce um, it. <laughs> yeah, it contains sesquiterpenes, which enable it to go beyond the blood brain barrier. It may help to oxygenate the pineal and pituitary glands. And this is the part that I love that I didn't know. Um, people can tell you that an oil is good for something, but when they actually talk about why, that's what really interests me. Frankincense increases the activity of leukocytes in defense of the body against infection. So um, the leukocytes are what help your body fight against infection and frankincense is what helps make those more active, right? So just by nature, that's helping your immune system. I love this little, um, this little snippet they put here at the end. Frankincense, because it's a spiritual oil in such high frequency, frankincense may also help one have a better attitude, which may strengthen, which may help to strengthen the immune system. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> It increases spiritual awareness and meditation. And we all know that too high um, stress levels are gonna bring down your immune system. Um, Anne just talked about that. And the one thing I wanna mention about frankincense is you definitely receive the benefits by putting it on topically. I have an immunity roller that I roll on the bottom of my feet, especially now with everything going on out there before I leave to go to work a couple days a week, I roll it all over the bottoms of my feet. I do frankincense lemon and thieves together um and it just smells awesome i like to put a drop on the crown of my head um before work or i will put a drop of something that has frankincense in it twofold one to help support my immune system get those leukocytes going but also to help me concentrate and just kind of help me chill and be more relaxed throughout the day um, and I just think if your body's not worried about fighting anxiety and stress, it can help to fight infection a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is don't underestimate the power of diffusing. Um, so right. I have a friend at work. Um, she gave me a testimonial. I'm probably going to have to be a little bit careful how I word it. Um, her father is a cancer survivor. And whenever he would go into his labs, his numbers as he was fighting cancer were always so, so good. And the doctor asked him, he's like, well, what's your secret? Your numbers look so good. And he said, I pray and I diffuse frankincense every day. And I feel like with that, remember, we're talking about frequencies with frankincense in the air all around you and you breathing it in your body you are getting the benefits of the frankincense in addition to wearing it topically or ingesting it. It is an oil that you can ingest, um, which is also pretty powerful. But um, sometimes I think we forget about diffusing. So mm -hmm. I just want to remind everyone that that is a wonderful way to get frankincense in, especially for those who maybe aren't keen on the idea of wearing it. Um, mm -hmm. It has very powerful scent. That, very earthy. Yeah. So, okay, I'm done rambling. <laughs> <laughs> so the oil that I had picked for tonight, because of course you have to talk about it with immunity, is thieves. And the problem I had when researching thieves is that when 
you're reading about it, there's a lot of FDA hot words. So you can't use them and be FDA compliant. So I was like, okay, how am I going to live and eventually on YouTube um, share about something that the FDA has so cracked down on? So I just want to definitely encourage you to do your own research. If you have the essential oils desk reference, by all means, get that. This is another fantastic um, book. If you can get that one, it's it's full of wonderful information. Um, What's the name of it? This is the supplements desk reference by Jen O'Sullivan. Um, so thieves. There's a reason the thieves line is so huge. There's dish soap, which gets grime off of dishes, which have things in your mouth and <laughs> yuckiness. Let's see, I can't use the G word. So, like, all right, so it takes care of those. The it, yuck. They, the yuck, thank you. It, they also have thieves laundry soap, which gets rid of other yuck from your clothing. They have thieves toothpaste, which gets rid of that yuck as well. Um, they have Thieves hand sanitizer. It used to be Thieves purifier, hand purifier. They got FDA compliance for sanitizer now. So that that should tell you something with the whole FDA crackdown stuff. It is now hand sanitizer. So when you're out and about and you're shaking hands or touching groceries, take your Thieves hand sanitizer with you. So I would encourage you to do research specifically um, fire. What is happening? Sorry. I'm hearing my phone. Sorry. Um, so I would encourage you when you're doing your own research, like maybe try Googling something like clove essential oil for immunity or cinnamon essential oil for immunity. Like break down those oils and read. Um, PubMed has some really good um, articles to read about those. Um, like clinical studies. You're looking for medical stuff, not people's opinions. Um, I, love that. I know so do I <laughs> so many good articles um, so I really encourage you to do your own research on those and read the articles that the FDA is not super happy about us talking about um, so to have something I, I can talk about I pulled out my book so she was Rose was talking about um, diffusing don't discredit the power of diffusing and by all means diffuse 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 I was one of those people who when I first got my oils I was freaked out to put them on my skin and um, I was more freaked out. I think it took me a year and a half before I would ingest my oils. The thought of ingesting an essential oil. I mean, like to me, I got essential oils to get rid of candles, right? Because candles hurt your respiratory system. So like I equated diffusing essential oils with candles. You don't eat candles, so I did like my brain did not want to make that switch to you can ingest essential oils. Um, and at the time we didn't have the vitality line. So like that's new since I, man, I feel like I'm so old with oils. I was like, there was a time when <laughs> there, there was wasn't a time vitality. Before vitality. <laughs> yes, wow. there was. So like for, think of that too. So like my brain had an even harder time making that switch because the same bottle in my diffuser as a candle I could also put in lemonade so that that made no sense to me so it took me a very long time before Anne convinced me you can you can ingest these <laughs> so i love when other people have like vitality oil recipes because that's an area that took me so long to grasp and when other people grasp it and embrace it and promote it i love that so this one she's got some immune system daily capsule recipes so the top one is three drops of thieves and one drop of oregano. So oregano, I can talk about not related to people, but ironically related to chickens. We got baby chicks last week, Wednesday, and I was looking up, how do I boost a, a chicken's immune system? Because baby chicks are really, really fragile when they're first born. And we got our chicks like less than a day old. So I'm reading up natural ways to boost a chicken's immune system. And I got two things that popped up, raw unpasteurized honey, because it's got the natural antibodies and stuff like that in it, and oregano oil. So oregano oil is specifically great for promoting the immune system in chickens. 
and people, but and ch in chickens <laughs> and it helps oregano specifically for chickens is great for getting rid of any parasites or any bad bacteria in their guts. So I thought that was really fascinating. So if there's a problem when they're cracking their little egg open and within their first few hours of life, if they accidentally ingest or inhale something that's not good for them, maybe some of the yuckies that we get exposed to, mm -hmm. if a baby chicken is exposed to that and you give them one drop of oregano in a liter of water, their first drinking water, the oregano oil will boost their immune system and they have a, what did I read? A 62% higher chance of surviving that first week. Wow, so that's interesting yeah super interesting also an interesting fact did you know that humans dna is closer to chickens than monkeys wow. <laughs> i was like what chickens don't have opposable thumbs how is that possible anyway it's true <laughs> you learn random stuff when you adopt chickens like it's a thing man so i thought that was really interesting that the top recipe had thieves which i know to be good for immune support and then oregano which i had literally just read as being for chicken immune support so that's fascinating to me. So there you go. That's my, do you research on thieves and give oregano to chickens? That's my sum up for this evening. The story on thieves is super interesting. Yes. You should tell the story. Okay. She so, knows the story better than so, I do. Well, um, I know parts of it. <laughs> so thieves, and Anne can fill me in if I'm wrong on anything here. So thieves, during the time of the bubonic plague, when it was um, spreading across Europe and moving into Northern Africa and parts of Asia, it was like the height of the spread. Um, there were four thieves in France who were going into homes marked with the black symbol of death. And they were robbing these homes and robbing the bodies of those who had been killed by the plague. And when they were finally caught, they had quite the pile of wealth, but no illness. And so the judge who was dishing out their sentences for these four thieves was like, I will uh, mitigate your sentence if and only if you hand over your recipe as to how, like, if you hand over your secret as to how you're robbing all these people who are sick and you're not getting sick. I mean, they had been in hundreds of homes. So, like, this was an impressive feat that they didn't die. So they handed over their recipe and it had rosemary and clove and buds of, I think, garlic, and then it had cinnamon in it. And um, there were a couple other things that are slipping my mind, um, but they had distilled it into a vinegar solution and they would drink it and they would slather it all over their bodies before entering these homes. And so then Gary Young, back in the late 80s, I think, was going through the university, Warshaw University in London, and accidentally came across this recipe, like this historical record, like he was actually reading the judge notes from the bubonic plague. So it was, he was doing like um, judicial research, not like organic compound recipe research. He found this and that's how he started these. He did his own research on these individual plants and their substrates. So yeah, substrates. And, and so he came up with the thieves recipe. So that's how we have thieves. Awesome. I love the story. I know. Me too. Cool. Um, well, Janelle usually would go next, but <sighs> she couldn't make it tonight. She's working. Um, we, I think, have, um, we answered all the questions that were in the comments. And I think we should do our drawing for the live attendees tonight. Sure. Um, I have our wheel decide ready. I'm going to try to share my screen and uh, hopefully I don't have technical difficulties like I did last time. And then um, if anyone has we any already had weather again, we true. can't have technology can't. against us the same night. Um, if anyone has any questions while we are spinning the, spinning the wheel. Now I see seven of you watching right now. I think I've captured you all. If anyone is watching, who um, has not said something, uh, well, I guess next time you'll know to say something. So we add you to the <laughs> wheel because there's a delay when I go on Facebook. Um, okay, so let's do our wheel decide. And I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, and if you can see my wheel decide screen, is that the whole thing that you can see? 
Awesome. Perfect. Okay. I think I just click it to spin and we're going to see. Um, I didn't know Teresa's last name, but I see Teresa's watching us. So Teresa, that's you. I'll give it to you next time. <laughs> I have her last name. Frank. Woohoo! Woo! Frank, yay! Um, you met Frank when we were at Mackenzie's class. Yes, I did. In Menasha. A lovely gentleman. Yes. He was fun to talk to. Yes. Okay, so now I have to figure out how I stop sharing my screen. Okay, Here we go. Great. That looks right. So um, if you weren't tuned in at the beginning of the video, um, Emily from Being Live last week gets the first choice of these prizes, um, but then you get Frank gets to pick um, second choice. So I've got the insect repellent wipes. I've got Lavaderm cooling mist. I've got sensation hand and body lotion. I've got art light moisturizer. I'm not sure if Frank would want that, but maybe your <laughs> wife would. Um, I've got thieves, uh, whitening toothpaste, which we just talked about thieves. So that would be a great one. I have a little lavender sample sachet and I also have alkaline dietary supplement. So. Awesome. Well, congrats, Frank. Um, the rest of you who are catching the replay, make sure you comment, share, like, because uh, you get entered multiple times to win prizes. Those of you who yep. commented here tonight, you're going to be on the wheel next week when we draw our prize. Um, I just realized I forgot to record this, so hopefully I can download oh, it from yeah. Facebook. We'll also post the replay on, on YouTube. We'll figure yep. out how to get we'll it on there. We'll figure it out. Um, but yeah. Um, I don't see any more questions that came in, so I think we can wrap it up. Let me check quick. I don't think I got any either. Uh, Emily says she'll take the moisturizer. Oh, Frank, <laughs> sorry. Moisturizer's out. Sorry, Emily Frank. took it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nope. No other questions. Just that. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. I hope that you learned a ton. If you come up with a question um, afterwards, post it. We are uh, kind of always browsing the questions and want to help you and answer as best we can. Um, so don't be shy. Uh, we'll see you next week right here. Same time, same place. Are you Eight. coming over again next week? I think I am because oh, okay. I have technical problems. Better Wi-Fi. <laughs> better wi-fi over here you guys so <laughs> we can all party it up hopefully it won't <laughs> rain come on over we'll do a campfire awesome okay well we'll see you guys next week bye. stay healthy everyone bye